Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about our official December forecast. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, I'd also highly recommend that you check out our very exciting store in the description and the pinned comment down below, and also be sure to check out our very exciting Patreon page where we're actually uploading our December snowfall forecast. You can check that out in the description and the pinned comment down below on our Patreon page. It's cheaper than a coffee, and you can always cancel at any point if you feel like you want to, but I really, really highly doubt you will. All right, now for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think that we will have any blizzards for the month of December? Be really bold with this one, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let me know where you think it could be and give exact amounts, all for entertainment purposes, of course. Now let's get right into things, and first things first, we're taking a look at that precipitation forecast, and we're starting out with our first above average precipitation region, and this one, not really surprising, is going to be for the Pacific Northwest and through portions of the Northern Rockies. If you've been keeping up with our winter forecast series, uh, you would know that this is definitely an area that we've been pretty consistent with being in that above average precipitation column. I think they will certainly be average to above average this month for sure. Now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly move on and we're going to take a look at that second above average precipitation region and then we're going to get right into the below average precipitation, temperature forecast, and then finally the overall forecast. Now here's our second region of above average precipitation here and as you can see, surprisingly, because really our entire winter forecast series did not have this region featured in this uh, area, but really uh, with the way the models have been trending, with the way the first half of December certainly looks due to the teleconnections, it appears likely that we could find ourselves in an actual very powerful nor'easter pattern, which is very surprising, but really we've been having a couple of storms like this recently, so it's not super surprising, but just based on the fact that we're in a La Nina, based on the fact of how things should be going, this is quite the surprise, and it really, really reminds me of December of 2010, actually. I know a lot of people have hinted at that as well, uh, but it just draws direct comparisons, first off, on the expected forecast conditions, uh, but secondly, the fact that we have that La Nina as well. So we're expecting slightly above average precipitation there from portions of the southeast all the way up through the mid-Atlantic and New England, and yes, that likely could translate into snow. Let's take a look at that moderately above average precipitation region, and as you can see, for uh, the Mid-Atlantic and in through New England, they could have some moderately above average precipitation. A lot of storms are going to come from the west and just head straight into New England, and also some are going to come from the south. The reason we get the moderately above average precipitation region there is because they would see precipitation from both of those two storm tracks I just described. Uh, they will converge there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and take a look at that below average precipitation, and then we're going to very quickly get into the temperature forecast. All right, now here's that below average precipitation region. And as you can see, it's actually quite large. We can see all the way from the southwest and through portions of the southern plains, the south central United States, even up through the upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. That region is kind of surprising to be in the below average precipitation because on our winter forecast, you know that our Great Lakes region and the Ohio Valley region have both consistently been included in the above average column, but definitely the month of December uh, is looking a little bit different than that. The one thing to note here is this is just one of three months that's a winter month. So this is only one third of our winter forecast. So there is gonna be some differences. Obviously not all three of the months are gonna go the same. Uh, and I think that definitely January and February are gonna wrap that winter forecast all together and just bring it all uh, bring it all in, and, and the average of those three months will likely look like our winter forecast, but December is actually looking like very different, uh, especially the East Coast there. I'll talk about that later on a bit more. Now, we even have a moderately below average precipitation region, and that's there for California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, a little bit of uh, Utah and Colorado there, very limited areas, uh, and then a lot of New Mexico and a lot of Arizona there as well. This region, just in a La Nina, does not see an active storm track. That is going to lead to below average precipitation. I'm very confident in that. I have been confident in that in our winter forecasts, and I remain confident in that here during our December forecast. So really, it's overall, I guess, looking at the entire United States, a pretty dry month outside of the Pacific Northwest and then the East Coast. If you're really anywhere else, it's, it's going to be quite a quiet month, I would say. 
uh, to say the least. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at that very exciting temperature forecast, which also looks extremely different than our winter forecast video. A lot of surprising and exciting things coming up in just a moment. All right, now first things first, here's the above average temperature region. And as you can see for that southwestern corner of the United States, we expect above average temperatures. And this has been, again, just something that's been pretty consistent on our winter forecast as well. So not a huge surprise there. This isn't the surprising factor I mentioned just before. Uh, we have moderately above average temperatures here as well for uh, portions of California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. That's just where it's going to be even warmer. It's going to be quite dry there as well. So that's going to really just create more sunshine. Uh, so even further above average temperatures. Uh, so that's how those two kind of um, interact with each other. Now for the surprising part. Again, we've been talking about a southeast ridge for a long time now. But December says, hey, look, there's not really going to be one for that first half of December at least. Look at the temperature forecast here, below average temperatures from Texas to Florida, up the, e up the East Coast all the way to New England. Below average temperatures looks to be the trend for the entire month of December. Our confidence is extremely high that at least through the 15th, we will have below average temperatures set up over this region. Uh, the final 15 days of the month is not as confident, but really that first 15 days should be enough of a foundation to really just... Um, create that month of below average temperatures, regardless of how the final half of the month goes. Uh, although it's leaning that the, the final half of the month would be cold as well. Overall, looking like a cold southeast here. Let's just add that moderately below average temperature region. And as you can see from Louisiana and through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and again, just up through the southeast coast, up through the Appalachian Mountains and into the mid-Atlantic, we're going to have moderately below average temperatures. Very surprising because, again, this is pretty much the opposite of that southeast ridge we've been calling for for the month of December. Do I think that the southeast ridge is going to stay away the entire winter? Absolutely not. But for the month of December, again, especially that first 15 days, which contributes to half of this forecast, uh, it appears extremely likely that that southeast ridge will not be a factor and we will have below average temperatures, matter of fact, set up over the same regions. Very interesting and, again, draws direct comparisons there to 2010 very, very interesting stuff here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and finally get into that very exciting overall forecast that probably all of you have been waiting for. So that's coming up in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at that overall forecast for December of 2020. It's very sad, but this is actually the last monthly forecast I get to release in the year of 2020 because January is going to be 2021. So this is the final one. Uh, it's been a great year, guys. I have loved every moment I've spent on YouTube here uh, this year. has been a big year for my channel, and I thank all of you for that, for being a part of this journey. Uh, here's to a great 2021. I guess I'm talking like it's New Year's Day already, but... Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for the upcoming year as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of cool weather videos, and I hope you guys are as well. Now, let's get right into it. First things first, in the Pacific Northwest, stormy. And you might be wondering, well, there wasn't really above average precipitation. Well, on average, it's stormy. So it's already going to be stormy as is. It's going to be a quite typical Pacific Northwest winter up there. To the south, you see that positive PNA. You might not know what that means at all. And that's really just a positive Pacific North American oscillation. Uh, and really what that means is that we're going to have above average temperatures set up in this region due to that PNA being positive, And that leads to colder than normal conditions out east. We'll be taking a look at that as we move east in just a moment. Continue to snow in this white region. They've been seeing snow for months and they will continue to see snow for months. Not a lot to say there. To the south, warm and dry there for the four corner states in through Texas as well. Uh, again, that's quite a typical actual forecast there. Uh, typical frigid conditions up there for the purple region. It is typically very cold there, and it's not going to be much warmer than it typically is. So a typical frigid uh, December for you guys up there in the purple areas. Ice possible in this pink region with the current storm track that I'm taking a look at. Ice could be likely, uh, possible to likely. This area typically does see some ice from time to time. I think there's an above average chance of that this month. Chilly down there for the Gulf states, and it's not always chilly because I know some people will probably be like, well, duh, but it really can be warm at times during typical Decembers, but I think it's going to be a chilly month. We saw that on the temperature anomaly forecast just a moment ago. It's going to be a pretty chilly month for you guys. 
For that kind of magenta shade up there for portions of the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, typical snow. Uh, I don't think you guys will necessarily have above average snowfall, but you guys will likely have your typical snow that you see. Uh, we see snowy conditions there for the blue region. They've been seeing snow, uh, especially the last couple of days, and I think they could see even more moving forward for the month of December. Uh, and probably what most of you click this video for, if you live in the eastern United States, that white region. Multiple chances at snowstorms, I believe, for this white region. And you might be wondering, what does that mean? Because it sounds oddly specific. Well, it would be difficult to say that it's for sure going to be snowy for North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia, given the fact that they don't always see snowfall. So that would be a little bit bold on my part. But I do think we will have multiple chances of snow. For instance, the models were showing a possible East Coast snowstorm. That eventually fizzled out, but I count that as a chance because there was the chance of a snowstorm. I think we're going to have multiple events like that. And what are the odds, you might be wondering, of one of them panning out? Well, let's say we have five chances. I would say we have an overwhelmingly good chance that at least one of them comes into fruition. Uh, we do see an East Coast snowstorm. I actually think there will be multiple East Coast snowstorms of some sort, especially the further north you go. But down there for the Carolinas and Virginia, I think there will be multiple chances. Uh, and I think that one or two of them could come to fruition for sure. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, I know that's more confusing than my typical forecast. If you have any questions about that, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer that for you guys. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, do you think that December is going to be snowy? And Mikey Loves Weather said, yes, I do think December will be snowy. And nine people like that, including myself. Uh, so I, I figure a lot of people agree there. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our diamond patrons. Michael Cotalesa, Alicia Davis, Marcus Connolly, Cat Bite, Alan Sherry, Terry Curtis, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Bill Roberts, Kellen Manhart, Michael Buell, Mariah Vieira, Noah Harley, and Mark J. Alongside our platinum patrons, Adam S., John Benbenek, Justin Quantrell, Donna Carnes, Alan Belemo, Larry LaPan, Dovi Nagel, James Wade, and Cameron Marshall. If you would like to end up on this patron end screen, you can do so by joining our Patreon page down below. We had two exciting posts we made this morning. The first one was our temperature analogs for this December, so you can check that out. That's our basically all the years in the past that we think line up with this one. And also, again, that December snowfall forecast, anomaly forecast, that is, uh, that you can check out, again, on our Patreon page for very, very cheap, cheaper than the price of a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.